Hey guys, your mum 789 here bringing you another player review. Today we have the first video on my channel and it is of team of the season Jose Souza of Argentina. He plays in the Super League in Turkey. He's Argentinian and plays for Besiktas. On his card, he has 81 pace, 81 shot, 81 passing, villas, 86 dribbling. It's a very nice, well-rounded card and costs me about 40,000 coins, but slowly going down to be even cheaper. All right, so starting off the clips, getting into his in-game stats, we've got good, nice, dark green stats, such as 90 vision, 82 acceleration, 81 agility. And he's a very well-rounded card. Going into his skill attributes, we've got 80 ball control, 80 crossing, 92 curve, 75 finishing and all sorts more. He's 30, 5 for 11, so quite tall, can play cam or right mid. So I managed to play five games with him scoring six goals. Right, so going into the clips, this is in the first game, in the fourth minute, he managed to pick the ball up, weaves his way inside and a composed finish on his left foot, so that's his weaker foot. <clears throat> Just showing that he can use both feet, but unfortunately that does not, comply with how he played in all the other games with his weak foot. His weak foot did let him down at times, but as you can see in the fourth minute in his first game, a great finish. And then we go into another clip, which is in f another four minutes in. He does a nice fake shot, Jose, so he just picks up an amazing long shot, and that's what you want from a cam, being able to, to score goals like that. Great finish, the keeper didn't stand a chance. One problem I did have with him, as you can see, I did a fake shot. The fake shot and roulette are his only good skills, as he only does possess three-star skills, which is a big issue. But obviously, if you're not much of a skiller and you know you like to dribble with him and stuff, this guy's definitely, definitely your man, as you can see in the clip before. He's got a nice dribbling, got a nice bit of pace, managed to thread a nice pass through to Van Persie, which was... Unfortunately, he got hacked out, so we got a free kick, and he's got some amazing free kick stats too. <clears throat> so yeah, coming back to his shooting, his shooting was class. I mean, outside the box, he was putting them in, as you can see. Just there, he put it in top corner from a finesse, and even his free kicks were good. I didn't manage to score one, but from this angle, he moved his ball, so it's pretty impossible, and he does trouble her so that was an amazing, amazing attempt for him. <clears throat> Right, moving on to another positive was his, his through balls in specific, not his short passing, but his through balls and his vision. As on his card it said 90 vision, I felt this was probably like even more. Some of the passes he made were absolutely incredible. And as you can see, he played through, I think it was Eto there or Van Persie, and we won a penalty from it. Steps up, puts it away nicely, so his passing was a very, <clears throat> very big part of his game. And also another big thing was his dribbling. He could beat people easily. I mean, he does get caught up sometimes, like if you know you're against a big solid defender. But most of the time, he could beat he can beat people on the dribble. And I've slowed this clip down just to look at the perfect path. So you got Van Persie with about 64 pace against Ricardo Rodriguez, who's I think got near enough 80, and he just manages to slide that in perfectly. Him, yeah, again, enhancing the vision. But that clip there can show his downfall. His short passing sometimes did let him down. <clears throat> so he passed it, wayward pass, and they managed to counter attack from that and score. But Jose Souza, for you know what I paid for him, I, I can't go wrong if you're wanting to build an Argentinian team or even a Turkish League team and you've got the coins to do it, I would certainly pick him up because. He has a big influence in the box and in your team. Okay, passes nice to Van Persie. Van Persie passes it to Eton and so he crosses it into the box. So, yeah, again, if you play him just behind the strikers or striker, he will deliver. He will pass. He'll make, make lots of runs as well as positioning overall was really good. Always in the right place, right time. He sometimes is finishing inside the box, let him down, but he can score you some spectacular goals. As well as that, he's 5 foot 11 and can win some great headers in the air as well. So that's good from a goal kick. He can head it back as well. So oh, overall, he's a very well rounded card. And as you can see, dominating in the box over one of their defenders, gets in front of him in a powerful header. <clears throat> going back to the pace he showed great pace there to get away but unfortunately I still don't think it's 81 worthy 
on his card. It says he's 82. I say he's about 78. So that as we go in overall, his strengths, dribbling, passing, positioning, shooting, price, weaknesses, pace, short passing, did learn down, and his skill moves. His weak foot also is okay. So I'm going to give him an overall rating of 8.5, but really would recommend picking him up if you do have the coins. Right, guys, that's been your mum 789 signing out. Thank you for watching, and see you later. Bye-bye.